So another time trial win, Jared. Do you, that's, that must be a few in a row now. Um, yeah, well, unfortunately, the, uh, the injuries got me early on. So, uh, and Nick Robert was at the club, so uh, I could never beat him. But um, yeah, it was nice to, nice to win this one. Doesn't really mean too much in the scheme of things, but um, yeah, it's just good to see the overall fitness of the groups improving. So it's really good. So a bit of a surprise packet in second there, Marcus Adams. Not many people externally would have expected that. Was it was a surprise to you? Yeah, well, that's right. He, uh, he come from um, pretty much a no pre-season and he's, he's uh, wording up the physios and that that he's, he's going to go all right. And um, all of a sudden on the, on the seventh lap, um, big, big lumberjack behind me, he's cruising along. So, um, yeah, I was, I was a, bit, uh, a bit surprised on that, but he was, he was uh, really impressive. Why do you think he's able to do that? Because he's hardly done, as you said, hardly done a pre-season. He only started running a couple of weeks before you went on break and he's able to produce that. Yeah, probably put it back down to his um, just his preparation. Like he's he's one of the most professional blokes um, that I've come across in terms of um, looking after his body, eating well, um, hydrating, and and doing his weights. Like um, he's a monster in the gym. So to be able to, I guess you put it back to that. Like he's just got that real good basis of running, and then on top of that, he's he's a um, he's just a natural athlete. So um, yes, so those things put together, and uh, yeah. I've, he did expect him to go well, but um, that was that was really really well done by him. Pretty unique combination he's got like, with his size and that endurance. There wouldn't be too many blokes that have got that sort of combination, you wouldn't reckon? Nah, nah, definitely not. Um, you often see you often see the, uh, the the great marathon marathon runners, and they're a bit lighter and and, and a bit skinnier. But Marcus is uh, one of the thickest blokes I've ever seen. So um, yeah, no, he's he's thick with two C's. <laughs> What about today? You got to do a bit of match simulation work, or is, is that sort of the most ramped up that's been, or have you done a bit of that already? Uh, we've done a little bit in terms of like 11 on 11, um, little, I guess, scenario sort of games, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that was just our, our play on instinct drill where we, we had a few out numbers. So it was just um, all about just moving the ball and um, getting that, that good ball movement that we, uh, and how we, how we feel um, in terms of that. So. Um, yeah, it was, it was a real feel-good session. I think Wednesday's going to be a big session for us. So it does ramp up this week. You go to Tassie on Friday. Um, you looking forward to that? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's looking forward to that. It's sort of, um, once you do your second 3K, it's sort of like the the, uh, the spiritual end of pre-season. So Dima takes a back seat and the coaches uh, come along a bit. So it's, it's real nice. And, um, yeah, I think everyone's really looking forward to um, continuing to improve and, and getting into those actual match match-like simulations um, that we're going to do and um, yeah, get a real good test and see where each other are at. Get a bit away from the community, I guess. Yeah, I think that's the, the, main, um, the main thing of going down to Tassie. Um, although the, uh, the ozone layer is a bit, bit thinner in there and you get burnt, but um, yeah, the boys definitely don't miss the humidity, that's for sure. What about you? How are you feeling going into the season? Yeah, really good. Yeah, no, it's, um, well, yeah, personally, it's, it's been good. Got away, had a real good break, um, come back and and everyone's pushing each other, so um, there's no point me, uh, I guess, resting on my laurels and, and um, letting blokes catch up to me. So I'm working just as hard as I am every other year, so it's, it's really, really good. What about you with that time trial? Um, how quick did you do it, and how did the knee feel doing it? Yeah, yeah, knees, no worries. Um, how quick did I do it? I was 9.57, um, so yeah, just under 10, but um, yeah, it was knees, no worries. Hasn't given me troubles ever since, so. Can't complain. What about the um, obviously the match simulation? The, the more intense stuff ramps up when you're in Tassie, or, or it has sort of previously. You feel that competition for spots sort of ramps up in the coming week. Yeah, well, it already is um, at the moment. You can see everyone's a little bit on edge, um, trying to fight for spots, trying to prove themselves in the 3K, etc. So um, it's it's really it's really healthy at the moment. Um, those those competitions, and yeah, it only gets it only gets more um, ramped up in uh, actual match practice. So uh, I think we've got uh, two games planned for Tassie, which is going to be um, shortened games, obviously. But um, yeah, it's going to be good to get that hit out. So what have, you, what have you found? I mean, you've been to Tassie all three. This will be your fourth year there as well. What have you got out of it collectively, do you think, in the previous years? And why would you, you know, keep choosing to go back there? Well, I think, I think it's a really good opportunity for us to grow our culture as well, because you, you're living with each other in, um, in uni dorms for um, a week, so it's it's really it's really good to I guess um, room with people that you wouldn't normally and 
um, get put out, put yourself outside the comfort zone. And, um, we do we do a lot of stuff with uh, leading teams there as well. So um, building those genuine relationships rather than just um, hey mate, how you going sort of thing. So um, yeah, getting to know each other on a deeper level, and I think that you can see. Um, that translates not only on our training and, and around the club but also on game day.